Welcome back to Art Everybody. Today we will be investigating the Ukrainian artist Sonia Delane. She was born in Ukraine but moved to Germany and to France where she studied art. She often worked in collaboration which means together with her husband she was fascinated by shapes and she was particularly fascinated by geometric shapes. What is a geometric shape? A geometric shape is a precise shape which has a start and a finish boundary line. So we're looking at circles, ovals, triangles, cubes, squares, rectangles and so forth. She was also interested in concentric circles. What's a concentric circle you might ask? when a smaller circle comes inside a bigger circle. So today you're going to need for your own work something you can trace around that's circular. It might be a bottle top, it might be a cup, it might be a, like I've got some bath toys and a ruler or a book with a nice straight edge. Now she was very interested in rhythm and colour and wanted to put colours together that would make each other stand out. She made her outfits that she would wear to the art galleries that would complement her paintings. She was a pioneer which meant she was one of the first women to look at abstract art which meant she wasn't just painting pictures of people in a realistic way. Let's take a look at her art and see what we're going to do today. Sonia Delane loves circles, especially concentric circles. Can you see the smaller circles placed within the larger circles? Can you also see how she's chopped these in half with a line? On one side she muted or faded the colours, dividing the circles up. Sonia designed the fabric using geometric patterns, often repeating shapes and placing dynamic colours next to each other. She even designed clothes to look like patchwork quilts. Can you see this beautiful car? Now it's your turn. You're going to create your very own Sonia Delane concentric circle design. Make sure you have a variety of size cups to trace around. You create concentric circles by placing smaller circles inside bigger ones. Use an HB pencil for the initial drawing. I have outlined mine with a black fine liner so that you can see them better. Also consider your use of colours and try to balance them, combining equal amounts of cool and warm colours. Today, you want to be looking around your house and seeing what circles you can find. You want small, medium, large circles. You might even have caps, bottom tops, whatever you can find that you can trace around. We are going to be creating our own concentric circle work. So you can use paints or pastels but I would trace first of all with a grey lead pencil. Any piece of paper will do. You might have an A4 piece of photocopy paper around or you might have a larger sheet. Let's have fun with this. Let's look at colours and let's be inspired by Sonia Delaney. <laughs> 